Hi, thanks for dropping by. Here we're going to run through a few of the filtering options Seiku has available. On my default query, I click on the level and then I can see the list of members I have available. If I select a few and throw them to the other side and click OK, you can see the query update accordingly. Next, if I go back into the query selection box and remove the members, I can then add some more, but this time if I select the exclude button and move them across and push OK, this time the queries run, but the members that were excluded are no longer in the result set. Now if I remove those members and then in the search box at the top type in a member name, you can see it doing some filtering there. If I then push pre-filter on server, it will give me a reduced list. This is especially useful when you've got a large list of members, for example, customer or client information. When filtering on lower levels, you might lose some context with the higher levels in the hierarchy. For example, here you can see a number of Q1, Q2s, etc. To solve this issue, you can select the Show Unique Names box. This will then give you the full member name, and as you can see here, we then know which year the specific record relates to. Finally, on the toolbar, you can see the Zoom tool. This allows you to drag a selection box over the existing table, and it will zoom into your data that you have selected to show you a more refined view. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and we'll have more content soon.